Americans are worried about our federal budget deficit. But people who worry about our country's economic health also need to understand that we're creating another kind of deficit in the U.S. that impacts every community and industry in the country, the innovation deficit. America's economy has been built on innovation and new ideas that create jobs and healthy communities. After World War II, our federal government helped the U.S. grow the world's strongest economy with strategic investments in education, science, and technology that made our country the world's innovation leader. Research funded by the National Science Foundation, the National Institutes of Health, NASA, and the Departments of Defense, Energy, Agriculture, and Commerce has led to life-saving vaccines, lasers, MRI, touchscreens, GPS, and even the internet. In fact, more than half our country's economic growth in recent decades has been thanks to innovation, much of which has resulted from federally funded scientific research. Innovation has made the United States the leading economic power in the world. It's why new industries have their roots here in the U.S. and why the smartest people from all over the world want to be at our universities. It's the reason our men and women in uniform are equipped with the world's most advanced technology. But now, that's changing. Scientists and business leaders agree that a growing innovation deficit means the U.S. could lose its lead in science and technology. And once that lead is lost, it could be difficult to regain. So what is the innovation deficit? It's the widening gap between the actual level of federal government funding for research and education and what the investment needs to be if the United States is to remain the world's innovation leader. Let's look at it another way. Every country has great minds, and when we invest in those great minds by supporting education, science, and innovation, it leads to a strong economy. But if we cut back our investment while other countries grow theirs, we fall behind. Americans' investments in research and higher education are now flat or declining, while others, such as China, Singapore, Korea, and the EU, are dramatically increasing their funding in those areas. Federal budget cuts to science and education programs over the past several years, compounded by sequestration, helped create this deficit. If we don't address the innovation deficit, it will be impossible to grow our economy, overcome our budget deficit, and create the jobs of the future as the rest of the world makes great strides. And the stakes are high. What country will become the magnet for the world's best and brightest scientists and engineers? What country will create the next information technology industry or biotechnology revolution? Who will make the next big discoveries in medical treatments, devices, and life-saving drugs? Will the United States continue to be the innovation leader? Or will we be just another competitor? If the United States is to remain the world's innovation leader, we must close the innovation deficit by growing and sustaining federal investments in scientific research and education. We need students and teachers who are challenged to think critically and ask tough questions. We need laboratories that have the resources to break new ground. We need great universities that attract and grow great thinkers. Together, we can make it happen. Please tell your member of Congress to close the innovation deficit by supporting strong funding for research and education. America's future prosperity and national security depend on it. For more information, visit www.innovationdeficit.org or follow the conversation on Twitter with the hashtag InnovationDeficit. <laughs>